Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Y'all are about to watch our very first video premiere. <laughs> Should be fun. Should be interesting. So in this video, you guys are going to see our perspective of the homesteaders helping homesteaders timeless fence build on the beautiful Blissful Acres off-grid homestead. It was a three-day weekend full of friendship and fencing. So we'll be hanging out with you guys in the comments, sort of like how our lives are. Uh, we'll be able to chit-chat with you guys back and forth while you guys are watching the video, while we are watching the video, and keep it interacting and have a good laugh and good fun time with you guys. So sit back, relax, and get ready. Let's do it. driving out right now to Blissful Acres Homestead and uh, we're on a dirt road. I got the caravan hauling behind me. Got my two babies in the car with me. Julia's riding with daddy and uh, we're almost there about another mile to go. How exciting! Hello! Two more coming? Two more. I got my husband and his, his trailer and then my buddy and his trailer. We're here to get some work done. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Melanie. I'm Susan. It's Hi, so Susan. good to meet good you. To meet I'm you. so excited. I'm so excited too. I've waited forever to meet I you. Know. I love your hat. Oh, thank you, darling. That's Gary and that's Jason. Gary and Jason. <laughs> Wonderful. We got another one too, huh? Oh, wonderful. Uh, so, 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 I can't believe it. It's going to be a good weekend. Yes, it is already. It is. Hope you like nachos. That's what we're having for lunch. Say hi, everybody. Hello. Look at our fence in crew for Timeless Fence Company and introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Gary. I'm with Simple Life Reclaim. Melanie's wiping the butt. <laughs> <laughs> we'll grab her later. <laughs> I'm Moses, High Desert Homestead. Keel from on and to Keel off grid. Tundra Jason, you may have seen or heard of me. I don't really have that big of a channel, but I'm here. <laughs> hey, Tundra Jason, glad you made it. I'm Levi, her son. And Mel. <laughs> and Moses' beautiful daughter, Anna, is here. And you hit when it starts bouncing, guys. Yeah, so we can always we can always cut them off. That's the cool thing about these posts. Mm -hmm. We can always cut them off if they're too tall, and we can always put more holes in them. It's not that hard. So eyeball me there. Yep. If the wind ain't blowing too bad. It ain't too bad. All right. Come in about. It. It's <laughs> true. When it starts bouncing, you're, you're about done. Yeah. And if it gets in the ground six inches, you're okay like this. You cut it off or you can drill more holes. All it's doing, all these are doing are keeping the wire separated. Mm -hmm. That's all you that's basically all it's doing. So it's not trying to hold it up here because anything that comes up here is gonna be shot. So you're just holding the wires apart so they don't short out. That's awesome. So none of these are structural then, just the corner ones. Ah, just the corners. A lot easier using this thing compared to that thing. Oh yeah, I know it. I know, it cast power, right? <sighs> Gotta love some power tools. I'm getting kind of used to it. I got this little swing action going. <laughs> <laughs> Where the posts that they have in right here, and it goes down at an angle and like that, they're basically doing the same thing in that hole like that. Lots of hard work, guys. There's so many freaking rocks out here. Every 
inch, every foot, there's another boulder. Gary finds good dirty. <laughs> <laughs> set this up is you're going to have a hot ground hot ground so you actually have to touch both of them okay <laughs> well no i won't i just was wondering about electric fences with kids like i see a lot of people have kids and electric fences i'm always like how they'll only touch it once yeah <laughs> my son when he was little he didn't know and he would grab we just had a wire gate and he would just grab it like this and walk mm -hmm. under he go that feels funny. And that was all he would say. And it never, it never bought until he got older. When he got older, he got scared of it. He wasn't scared of the, of the shock. So he just grabbed it, walked under, and he goes, "That feels funny." So it's, it's a mental thing. It's psychological. It's not, yeah. You know, once you get bit by, you get bit by, ow, and it scares you. Then you got that mental thing. But if, if you, if you're not scared of it like him, he just walked over and grab it, get shocked, and go on. He's like, "That ah, feels funny." <laughs> Oh, 
most guys, they're, they're going to be this way and that way. But once you put the high tensile in there, pull it, it'll be just as straight as there. That's the joy of working with this product. Metal post, you drive it in there and do that, and your fence is going to look like that. Or like that. Get this, and they'll just all go through. Get right in line. Right there's young people here. <laughs> look at him. He's jogging to the end of the line. I can yeah. barely walk out here. <laughs> You're doing awesome, Jason. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Good time right here. Heck yeah. <laughs> that was good. I missed that. Dang it. <laughs> We're looking for the marker in that thing that's in my pocket. <laughs> It's a little bit shorter distance. Yeah. This is going to be good. I like it. Yeah, we're covering a lot of ground. You guys are getting it done. I said she wanted to work. So maybe she wants to. Hey, work did you want to try this? I'll try it, yeah. Okay, I'm scared of it a little, but I'll try it. Go slow. This is the gas pedal, okay? Okay, I'll try it. So you want to go more of an angle? Like that? Yep. <laughs> Let go, let go of the gas! So my major job around here is being the gopher. I gotta go for this, I gotta go for that. <laughs> go for a little bit of this and that. So right now I'm going for some more nuts and bolts and screws and things so I can help these guys finish out this fence. They're doing all the hard work while I do a lot of the walking around and getting this and getting that. So all jobs are important, even the little ones like being the gopher. Check out all this post that they got in, all the white things is what they've been doing and all the guys are all the way back over there right now way down yonder and uh, they went and did all this down here and all across the whole front too so they've really been hitting it I'm so proud of everybody we've got a great crew working with us today on and even keel is here tundra Jason is here high desert homestead and of course we're here on the beautiful blissful acres off-grid so we're getting it done I'm gonna keep on keeping on, go check up on the kids, see how they're doing, do my gopher jobs, and uh, get back to We 
I don't know what is that. two spools here. Confusion. <laughs> she, she didn't match her. <laughs> take it down to the other one. No, just stay right here. We're going, we're going to get all close to this one. And then while we're while we're putting in these posts, we'll get that. We'll get them or, or whoever wants to to set that other one. But that other one's going to be a little bit different. We've got to put one straight in line this way, uh, and this is going to be at an angle. So it's not it's not going to be bolted together. It's just going to be sticking in the same hole. Okay. Gotcha. Let's try it this way. <laughs> like you're flying a kite. Whee! And Moses is the kite. <laughs> Should I try to reel him back in? Catch that fish. Hey. I can just do that. <laughs> oh, there you go. That works. I have. I has the smarts. I has an idea. I think it just got real here right now. Y'all want to do a live tonight? Sure. I do now. It's uh, here an hour past your normal. Wait, is today Saturday? Yeah. Today is yeah, Saturday. Saturday. I had to take it off. If you guys want to hold up on this today, we'll just load everything up. We'll go back. We'll do a live, right, and then then we'll on? eat, and then tomorrow we'll start fresh again. We got. I think one, I got two, the three, and then then this kick.
All right, so I'm right about to go and help out the guys finish up this fence. I'm gonna pull some cabling wire for them. They're doing the corner pieces and all the posts and everything. I'm gonna have these guys hanging tight here at the trailer and, um, you know, building magnets and playing with Barbies and all that good stuff. But Julia's got her radio, I've got my radio, and uh, Daddy's got a radio too. And we we'll just... I got a radio too! <laughs> a little stinker. Alright, today's gopher duties include running squares from this side of the property all the way to that side of the property. I don't even see them yet, but I gotta run it to them because they need the tools. This is day two on this fence build. I know they're over here somewhere, so let's find them. Oh look, a bunny. That could be dinner. He's lucky I packed enough food. All right, no more distractions. Squirrel! <laughs> here they are. Got your tools, boys. Good morning. Good morning. Back out into the caliche. Right, I know the caliche strikes again. So check it out. Right now, the boys are working on another hole. Um, the caliche holes from yesterday, we got the two, well, we, they got the two of them in, and then they called it a day. We had dinner together. It was awesome. Really good fellowship. Um, we went live on Moses' channel last night for a bit, which was cool. Got to talk to a lot of you guys, which is really neat. And today we're back at it over here. So the caliche that we're working in right now, this is solid as a freaking rock. It takes a lot to get through it. Bringing out the big yep, boys yep. now. Yeah, the big boys with the big toys. We made it through the soil, but now it's getting the creek. Yeah. We got about six inches this time. All right, here he goes, getting to work. Dang, look at that. Perfect. That's perfect straight up. Example. So this is a perfect example of what caliche is and what they are trying to break through. This is caliche. This is a chunk of it. It's literally like a rock, a concrete slab. And this is just a portion of it and they've been breaking through this for every single one of these posts over here on this side of the property. So they've had to do it a couple of times and they're still working at it, but I tell you what, We've been at this hole for 15 minutes now. And at least. Uh, we'll call it realistically about here. Six inches. Yeah. That's it. And four inches was topsoil. Yep. yep. Only two inches of bleaching. Yep. Because it's, it's legitimately like rock, guys. Listen to that. It's not dirt. It is rock. It's not... Yeah, I don't think people really understand caliche until you're working with caliche. You'll see the whiteness, which is more of the cleachy itself. The brown stuff is mostly just the dirt and clay compound, but it's right there. All this is all cleachy. Moses, he is working on the wiring right now, and I'm going to see if I can lend him a helping hand actually pulling cabling. So, so they've already run a lot of this cabling. Um, it starts all the way over here at that area right there. It's where the cabling starts, and it goes here, and they drove all these posts and did all this yesterday, and now they're running the cabling for it, and it goes all the way down here, and all the way over there to where Rob is, and then down the corner. So let's go see, let's go check it out. Look at this, that's what they pushed out of the way with that bobcat, all that rock. How's it going? Good so far. Good so far? What's that? So far. Oh, so far, yeah. <laughs> Mo's got a really cool little spoolie thing going on. Um, it spins around as they pull, which is really neat. 
and very useful. I'm gonna come to lend a helping hand, Mo. All right. And this fence, I don't know if you guys can see the posts very well here on the camera, but they go all the way. Like they go farther than you can see on the cameras. Put it in there. Right here? Yep, right there. Pull it, pull it, pull it. Go walk with it. Pull that wire, buddy. Pull it. There you go, Mama help. Mama help you. Put it in. That's right, that's the right hole. Good job. Push it through. Pull them out, keep going. Next hole, keep going. She is the hostess with the mostest. She's been working hard in the kitchen while we've been working hard in the yard. She's been making sure that we're nice and fed, helping out watching my kids, just being all around amazing hostess with the mostest. And we really appreciate you, darling. Oh, I'm so glad. I am so excited. This has actually been fun. A lot it, of work, but fun. The boys are coming in for their chow. I told them on the radio, I said, chow time. Oh, here they come. All you ladies are wonderful. Thank you so much for all the cooking you guys have been doing for us, and we really appreciate it so very much. We help fuel the fuel the fence. Yep. Mmm. Oh God. Thank you for feeding us so well on this whole trip. We really appreciate it. You're the best. back over to the Phoenix area. He was a big helping hand today. We really appreciate all your help uh, and for trucking out here. You. and Yesterday and yeah. day before on the prep and all that. We really appreciate it. You were honestly, with you and that beast right there, I'm telling you, we couldn't have gotten nearly as much done I without you, bro. I hated hiking those boats all the rest. I know. <laughs> like, oh, it would have been horrible. About when I brought her, I'm like, See, we got yeah, somebody no. who uses his noodle. <laughs> I'm so. so glad that I finally got to meet you instead of just making jokes online all the time. Right? <laughs> we want you guys to take from this video that if we can do this, if we can all come together in our community and in our area, you got people in your community and in your area that you can go out and help and be that person for. To have that online community be real life community. It's something special. It really is. It's something real special. Be the good in the world. Go out there and spread that love. Well, we're going to help Moses finish this thing off. we got to still go around and pull some more twine. And um, we still have some more... We still got some corners to do and some more posts and stuff. But Kiel's got to go. His daughter had a birthday. So happy birthday to you, darling. Hope you had a good one. And he's got a beautiful wife to get home to. So hi, wife and daughter. Wish you guys were here. But he's, your honey's coming home to you. I'm coming. Uh, I want a group hug. Group hug. Oh. All right. Well, we appreciate you, buddy. So, so much. Have a good one. Yep. yep. You guys be safe going back home. So after about 15 minutes on this hole, we ran into granite. This is even worse than caliche. Granite is a very, very, very hard to solve. Obviously, you know, it's on, it's on your countertop. That's what we're trying to fight through right now. We were digging that hole for a half hour and we couldn't get any deeper. 
Logan comes over, working on it for 15 minutes, and he busts the whole rock apart. Oh, yeah. Logan's is the man. Right? And this is like granite. Pouring the concrete, getting this other H piece in. <laughs> Got you, Jason. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> When the one cow gets shot, the runs back and tells the other cow, don't go to that fence. <laughs> okay. It goes and tells the other cow, hey, hey, go check out that fence. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> check out that fence. I remember when I was little, my mom's friend had an electric fence, and the other kids knew that we didn't know they had an electric fence, so they dared us to touch the wire. And after a while, I realized it was an electrical fence, but I finally touched it. And, yeah, it zaps pretty good. <laughs> and they say this fence is an intermediate to bear. I guess because different sized animals require more voltage. Yeah. And this is a two drill. And the two drill is such a shock, it shocks bears. But I guess it's the beginner bear, so like a little bear. Yeah. But a little bear is still pretty big. Yeah. So hopefully on the cows, they, they don't like it. You just drilled into a rock. Is a rock or Gucci? Or both? Uh, at this point, I think it's just a rock. See, and that's how you grow up. Riding in the back of the wagon, without a care in the world. A 
love it. Right there, that's good. All right, so it's night number two here on Blissful Acres Homestead, and uh, it's my turn to cook. So me and Scarlett are here in the trailer. How's it coming? Good. You think they're gonna like our spaghetti? Nighttime out here on Blissful Acres. It's our last night. Mo's going to have to be going home, heading out his way. But heading out early in the morning. That's right. Got a seven hour drive back. <laughs> right. You guys are lucky you could be, be home in an hour. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hop, skip, and a jump, right, baby? Hop, skip, and a oh, jump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's fun. But thank you so much. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you guys for coming. Yes, yes. I appreciate thank you guys. You. Yes. I, we couldn't, we couldn't, everybody pitched in. Um, every, everybody took and, and did their part, and that's how we got it done. Um, homesteaders helping homesteaders. That's right. Yep. It's all a community, you guys. Remember that in your own little communities. Reach out, help somebody. Reach out and talk to your neighbors, talk to your friends. Um, even if they're just friends online, see if you can help somebody. That's what it's all about. Continue building this community. Continue helping everybody out, and um, be a blessing to somebody. Oh, yes. All right, good night. Later. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. All right, so today is day number three on Blissful Acres Homestead. Our buddy Mo from High Desert Homestead had to get his booty back to New Mexico. Keel from On and Even Keel had to leave two days ago. Gary and I are like the lone last straggler survivors with Jason. And um, we're going to go ahead and finish this guy out. We're just going to run the wire, hang yep. up a gate, get the wire charger or the... Get all the sparkies plugged in. Get the electric in. fence all plugged in. And, and then we're go. done. <laughs> we're going to get to work and yeah. get her going. All right, y'all. Let's so, do it. Let's do it. So, Jason. Yes. What do you think of this build? This is actually really good. I'm really impressed with this fencing. Um, as far as how strong each one of these poles are, we're literally putting them in with a, with a uh, pole driver. Like, PVC, I would have never, ever thought about that. Nope. I figured it would have shattered and everything. No, we can be as violent with them as we can, or <laughs> as we want to be, really. And it stays, right? Yeah. I know, I was really impressed with it, too. I've just been watching you guys in pure amazement on how much work you guys have gotten done. and I've been trying to fill in the gaps where I can, but you guys have been pumping it out, and you guys have been doing amazing. And I'm just really impressed with the Timeless Fence stuff, too. It's really very strong and durable. And um, if there wasn't the caliche and the granite... This, I think this whole thing, done. yeah, we would have been done. Absolutely. Probably would have been done within like the first day and a half, but instead now it's dragged out to three days because of the caliche and the granite. Yeah, the granite was by far <laughs> the, the worst. worst. <laughs> and what was funny is after we hit that granite a couple times, we're like, please bring back the caliche. I know. We'll deal with that. Who would have thought we'd be begging for caliche, right? <laughs> That's horrible. It is horrible. You know it's bad when you're begging for caliche. People that are watching this that do not live in the desert, these, this is not every desert climate. This is just some desert climate. Some of the desert climates have this really hard rocky dirt. A lot of the desert climates in the northwest of Arizona, because that's where we are, this is what it's like out here. And so I know a lot of you guys that are out there like on the east coast or in the south or wherever you are, this might be something that you've never seen before, you've never dealt with. Yeah. And <laughs> even the differences on this property, you yeah. know, right here, actually, what we're standing in front of, this one wasn't too bad. Now you go another, what, 500 feet that way? Yeah. That's where we hit the granite. Go another 250 feet this way, and we just took the gas tower to auger and... Yep. It was done. It was so easy. It really just depends, you know, honestly, like you're saying, it depends on the actual area. None of the areas are exactly the same. And um, we've definitely been dealing with all of it this weekend. All, every, I'm going like this. Doing the roller coaster of love. <laughs> but we got it all pretty much done. Rob is over cool. here tightening it all off right now. Using the gripples. Cool, this is so exciting. Oh, wow. The relief of the sand. Right? Wow, it really is exciting. 
I never thought this would be getting done. I thought this would be something that my parents would have to mentally process and deal with forever. But now, no more cows. When this is done, no cows. Isn't it great? Yeah, it's exciting. You know, if there was just one person less, it would have made it so much harder for all of us. Yep. Like everybody pitched in a lot of effort and got it done. Yeah. I can't believe seven acres, you guys. Seven. Seven acres of caliche and granite. Just about eight. Yeah, just about eight, huh? Yep. So I'm going to take you guys a walk around the perimeter after we finish today's work. Before this video is over, you guys are going to get to see all of the work that we did. I'll probably speed it up a little bit so that way it's kind of like, a, not necessarily a time lance, but like a speed walk. You guys are going to go ahead and speed walk around the property with me um, so you guys can see all of the fencing that we did and be able to uh, see how it went down and just see all of the amount of work that actually was done here because it was a lot and it's a lot of posts and a lot of fencing maybe uh if you guys made it this far and you guys watched it till the end drop a comment and let me know exactly how many posts that were put into the ground take a count see if you can count them all i'm gonna count them all we'll see if you can count them all put it down in the comments and we'll see if you made it that far talk to moses probably no, yeah, that's cheating. That Don't talk to Moses. <laughs> Put him on speed dial, right? <laughs> right? That's <laughs> cheating. Don't I'm talk to Moses. <laughs> no. <laughs> Moses, you can't answer. <laughs> Cheater. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. All right. Now we're on another one. Next wire. Next wire. So I can clean this up right here. So, or we can just. You want me to pull cable? So we put Mel to work. She's pulling cable for us. Two down. Out of what another thirty? Yeah. That's the right one. So yeah, my job for the most part here on this homestead was to be the gopher. I had to go for this, I had to go for that. And I had to run some cable. And I had to cook dinner for everybody. Which and was awesome, by the way. Most of this is a man's work, you know? I was just getting in the way. Being the filmer, you know, it's kind of what I did. But every part is important, even the small parts. Oh, no, you, you're one of the ones that kept us all happy. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. I tried. I tried. Oh, nobody saw that. <laughs> I wasn't looking, but the camera got it. Nobody saw it. <laughs> Everybody did. No! There you go. Come on. She's curved. There we go. All right. And then for now, what they were doing is pulling it through, and giving it a temporary tie until they can come back and finish her off. Yeah. For now. Yep. Yeah, you're twisting it. You got to kind of go. Oh. And it works. But if you twist like that, yeah, it, it gets will, harder. Got, okay, you just I see twist what you're it saying. back and it'll break off. There. And it goes in. Yeah. She looks pretty. It is super good. See the cool thing that I just noticed. If it's crooked, adjust it. Yeah, isn't that neat? All right, everybody, the work is done. And we're going to take our last walk around the Blissful Acres homestead, show you guys all the fence work that we completed, or they completed. And uh, you guys can count some posts and see how much work was actually done. So Mo brought out the best fence out there that I've ever seen. I was very skeptical and about pounding it into the caliche and all that fun stuff. It's timeless fence and man, oh man, this stuff is sturdy. It, it blew my mind. We're out here in the desert. I was worried about it being in the sun and hitting the caliche and everything else. Man, I ain't worried about this fence at all. This fence is good. Like, holy crap. You weren't kidding, Mo. This this is uh, one heck of a fence. It's the best. So 
All right, well, let's get walking. Let's and get walking and looking at this. So right here, this is the front entrance, and you can see the gate that they installed. And it's open right now, but it's going to close right up over here and link up over here to this edging of the fence. And that goes all the way down that way. This guy's one, or the corner is one. Counting the corner is one. And keep right. it to, to yourself. Start okay. right here with one. I want you to go around and go check out your fence. Well, I get the to front. go see it. I haven't had time. I've been cooking. I know it. Now I get to go see. You see my surprise? You want to come, Scarlett? Come see her surprise? Uh, Scarlett. I haven't seen that surprise yet. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> like this for me before or us before. Well, that's what we're here to do. Time and the work and dedication and friendship. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Mm. You're welcome, honey. This is amazing. Victory dance! Yay! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Well, this was a lot of fun. We hope you guys enjoyed this friendship as well as this fencing video. If you guys have made it this far, we really do appreciate you guys. You rock. We put links down in the description below for all of the channels that were featured inside this video. So go and check them out, share that love, and let's continue to build this community up, you guys. Like we said before in the video, we didn't know any of these people in person. We had just had the online community, and our online community turned into a real-life community. We went out there and helped them, and it's... It's it real. Great. It was great. It was awesome, you guys. So if we can do it, if all of the people in this video can do it, you guys can do it too. Build your communities up. Get out there and help somebody. If you haven't yet, definitely hit that subscribe button real quick. 
uh, take one second free, everything else like that. Uh, but I hope you guys have a wonderful night. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Hope you have a good one. Later. Bye. Later.